I want to speak today about forgiveness. Um, Matthew 6, 12. You know, and there were the words of Jesus. He says, forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. He's using it in a financial term. You know, if you, if you have a debt and the debt's paid, you don't have to pay it again. The, the, it's funny that he uses the word debt but he's not talking about money. He's, he's not saying, you know, it, it could be money, but he's not saying, you know, that, that somebody owes you money. Uh, about, about two years ago, two and a half years ago, God had me go forgive every financial debt. And, you know, it's not because I had money. It was because God told me to do it. And I, I went around and every single person that owed me any money, and I forgave the debt. Now, after I forgave the debt, like, like say you owed me $100, and, and I said, you know what? I, I forgive that debt. You don't have to pay it. And then if I come back... And I say to you, when are you going to pay me? You look at me like I'm crazy. If you forgave a financial debt, if a bank says that you don't owe them anymore, the bank cannot come after you after that money. If I forgave $100 or you forgave $100 I owed you, you can't come back and say, I, I want that $100. It's forgiven. The, the, the balance is zero. It's paid. And now Jesus takes forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. He's, he's, he's making a monetary parallel to when somebody sins against us. Somebody hurts us. Somebody wrongs us. Somebody wrongs somebody that we love. And, and there's, a, there's a debt there when that happens. And we want to be paid. We want revenge. And Jesus said, he said, you know what? You got to forgive those debts. And so now, if, 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 if you wrong me or I wrong you, and we come to each other and we say, you know what? I forgive you. We're saying that wrong or that debt is paid in full. Now, you can't keep coming back to me over and over and over again about that debt, about that wrong. It's not saying I didn't wrong you or you didn't wrong me. That, that when there is a trespass, it, it's, it's a given that somebody has wronged another person. But after you say, I forgive you, You can't keep coming back and say, hey, you remember that time? You remember that time? You remember that time? Oh, what you did to me? No, it's forgiven. And, and you know what? This isn't a choice. If you're a Christian, this is not a choice. Because Jesus said, Father, forgive us as we forgive others. There is a correlation of how we forgive other people and how God forgives us. He, he uses what we reap, we also sow. There's, there's a level of forgiveness where we have to forgive others even to receive forgiveness from God. You know, Jesus said, when you stand praying, forgive everyone. 
You know, when you forgive somebody, you know who benefits the most? You do. Not the person that wronged you. You do. You benefit the most because you're set free. You know, the Bible says that bitterness, the root of bitterness, defiles many. That's in the body of Christ. You know, there's so many people, church people, that just can't forgive. Uh, first thing we have to do is realize the huge debt that God forgave us. And see, this is the good news right here. We had a debt that we couldn't pay. We had a debt so huge. There was no way we could pay God for our sins against him. Absolutely nobody can. Except for the blood of Jesus Christ. And when Jesus forgives us, he counts it paid in full. He, he, he is taking the balance sheet and, and, and he's saying, it's clear. Your debt is clear. Wow. And because of the blood of Jesus, we no longer owe God the debt that we can't pay. And because we've been forgiven this debt that we couldn't pay, we need to forgive others. But the good news is, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The good news is, when, 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 We've confessed our sins to Jesus. It activates the blood of Jesus in our spiritual account where we have trespassed against God. We owed God a debt that we couldn't pay. And the good news is he counts it paid in full. And the good news is he will never come back to collect a debt that's paid. Hallelujah. He's not going to come back and remind us of all the things we did. He's not going to come back in our face over and over and over again. Hallelujah. There's only one person that will remind you of your past sins, and that's the devil. And I like there's a, there's a saying that goes around. It says, if the devil reminds you of the past, remind the devil of his future. All right, God bless. Enough.